Hey guys, this is Tepco Cycle Repair, and today we're going to be reviewing the Brave X coilovers. Now, I, I'm working on this moto van. I have five bad coils on it. Three of them were completely bad, and the other two had misfires. So, um, I'm going to try these uh, Brave X brand off of eBay. They're $33 for the full set of eight, and you really can't lose much. So, um, I couldn't find any bad reviews on them. I found, I found a bunch of reviews uh, that were good, but I didn't find any comparison. Uh, against the uh, Motocraft stock one. So I put this together for you guys so you can check them out. You can look at the sizes. I measured everything uh, and uh, also mounted them up and, and uh, got visual sparks in here also. So I'm going to show you guys what they look like uh, and how they work. Um, I think they're worth it. And uh, here's a review. All right, so just got the coils in the mail. Good old quality shipping, got a hole in the side of it. Quick comparisons, here's the OEM at 170 grams, the Brave X at 170 grams as well. The Brave X here is a little bit longer, uh, two millimeters. Uh, the plugs here are about the um, same. You can see that the, uh, the, the lock-in tab is a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker on the OEM, but that shouldn't affect how it mounts up. Then you have uh, the B plus on the plugs, same, whatever that means. Here's the model number. And here you have the um, two plugs. And I want you to notice that the OEMs have blades and the Bravex has pins. But other than that, uh, I don't see that being an, an issue at all. To use some measurements here, we got 23.79. Twenty-three seventy-eight on the OEM, so they're about the same. The depth right here, measuring it from the side of the arrow. The top of the flange right there, we're looking at 85.33 for the OEM. in here 87 31 so they're a little bit longer all right let's go mount them up oh yeah All right, here's the startup. I got a little monster energy helping to power it up. Make sure that it starts. Here we go. Get the key here. Hang on. There you go. Runs smooth. I still got a couple engine lights on. Got the battery light on, airbag light. The, um, that, uh, that, uh, the engine light is the uh, idle air control valve and EGR I still got to fix, but you can hear it down there, running good. All eight cylinders again. All right guys, so the uh, Bravex coils worked fine. Uh, they mounted up easy, no issues, uh, slid right in, clicked in their positions, no problems at all. It's really uh, running great, no issues at all. And uh, you know, those coils were, I don't know, $33 for the set of eight um, the the big thing um, that I needed to do was check out and make sure that the um, transmission worked and the engine ran good so for me to spend $35 to check that out was no problem at all now how long they'll last uh, you know I won't know feel free to post on this video and ask me a question down the road and I'll let you know how it's going but right now I can move along with the van because um, that was that was the big issue so I still have uh, an EGR light and I have a um, uh, idle air control valve light so I'm gonna take care of those and um, the van should be good to go. Uh, but like I said, they, they mounted up fine, no problems at all. So I'd recommend getting them if you have a problem uh, with, one of your, um, with one of your coils. Uh, I think to, it's worth it. But again, we got to see how it lasts long term. So hit me up in the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, uh, and uh, you know, post any concerns you have. Or um, later down the road, you see the date on this video. If you want to see how they're doing a year from now, just, uh, you know, 
Send me a message. I'll answer it. All right? Guys, until next time, this is Type Go Cycle Repair.